Getting to our final thing for this week, Gary, talking oil. Uh, thing number five of this week's version of the five things. Conoco Phillips, ticker COP, announces a $22.5 billion acquisition of Marathon Oil trades under MRO. So Marathon Oil, their stock this year has traded almost exactly like a proxy for WTI. That stands for West, West Texas Intermediate. That's basically our domestic oil prices. When we look at international oil, people talk about Brent crude. In the US, we look at West Texas Intermediate. Um, anyway, Marathon's stock price has been almost an exact mirror um, and, you know, we have regulatory issues here in the United States where the oil companies are strongly discouraged from going and doing more exploration, production, drilling, um, you know, the environmentalists are concerned about that. And whether they're right or wrong doesn't really matter. The answer for a lot of these companies is if you can't go find new fields, and drill them and produce in them, then the way you grow is by either buying back your stock or acquiring competitors. And so Conoco figured $22.5 billion, let's buy Marathon Oil. Um, and they, they actually got the timing right, just as uh, West Texas Intermediate took a little bit of a downturn, um, they paid a pretty big premium to, uh, to get the deal done. Uh, Gary, DKI has long supported uh, oil energy investments, especially in uh, the current economic uh, situation, uh, reliability, potential as a hedge against purchase, declining purchasing power. You also note that further consolidation in the industry uh, will also benefit those oil and gas positions. How come? Well, if you own oil production, if you own oil majors and the industry is consolidating, um, instead of producing more, then what that means is you're not going to have more production. You're just going to have more concentration that leads to higher oil prices long term. Uh, it's one of the reasons why we like owning those positions. We've been long energy for a couple of years and very profitably so. I think that'll continue to be the case for a while. The other thing that I'd add is if we think about all of the things that people have in their lives, they're looking forward to from a material point of view. There is a huge correlation between material quality of life and energy usage. And very few people on this planet are volunteering to live at a lower standard of living. Again, we're talking about material goods. I'm not talking about the things of wonderful, but you know, non-tangible value like you know, friends or family or um relationships. You know, those are the things that I think have the most value, but you know. We're talking about finance, so we're talking about tangible things. Um, but you know, remember, right now, there all these people want to they want more um electric cars and electrification of everything. Okay, well, you know, that might result in less fuel usage, but boy, are we gonna need some grid improvements for that? Uh, and nobody's working on that. You know, also all everybody likes having cloud services. Right. I'm, I'm one of those people. I'm one of those work from everywhere people. I travel all over the world. I work from everywhere. Well, guess what? I need to have a lot of stuff in the cloud. And everybody's very excited about AI. Well, you know, those um, NVIDIA graphics chips, the AI ones, they use huge amounts of energy. And, you know, we talked about this. We had Enrique Abeda on recently talking about Talon Energy, a really interesting investment. Um, so ultimately, we're either going to need, if, if you want reliable baseload power, it's you're talking about coal, natural gas, oil, or nuclear. The so-called renewables, um, that's not that doesn't work for baseload generation, at least not yet. So there's going to be increasing demand for electricity and for energy, and nobody's volunteering to live at a lower quality of life. So. Here we are. We're looking at you know more acquisitions in the space, more consolidation in the space, and I think long-term higher energy prices. The way we've responded to that is by owning a lot of oil-related investments and owning um, uranium because I think nuclear is the way we're going to have to go to make all of this work. Gary, thanks so much for this week's version of the five things. Again, uh, as always, please head to our website, consider a premium subscription. 
Uh, premium subscribers receive the five things Monday morning, uh, right at the opening bell. Free subscribers receive a truncated version of the five things on Wednesdays. Uh, would love if you would consider supporting DKI and our initiatives here uh, to continue to produce high quality content and information. Uh, coming up this week, Gary, too, wanted to highlight Wednesday. We've got a pretty exciting webinar. Uh, did you want to tell everybody about that? Yeah, that's bit? right. Uh, on Wednesday at noon, we'll be hosting the management team from OffID. We've talked about biometric security and OffID. The ticker is AUID, but we've talked about them in the five things before. Uh, we will be live streaming uh, with uh, the CEO, CFO, Chief Technology Officer, and a member of the board of directors. That'll be Wednesday at noon Eastern time. Um, we will have the video up on YouTube that afternoon. We'll be live streaming to uh, my Twitter or X channel. That's at Gary underscore Broad, B-R-O-D-E, or to LinkedIn Live. You can look and find me there. Um, so you can watch that live or check in Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening. We'll have the video up there. Separately from that, uh, I'm happy to say I'll be the featured guest with uh, Michael Guyot and Title Financial Group for their Get Think Tanked on Thursday evening. I'm not sure how much drinking is mandatory, but I'll find that out beforehand. And uh, you know, we'll be talking about all kinds of interesting things in finance, macro, the markets, a really interesting group of people there. I wanna thank Michael for hosting me. He's uh, He's been a terrific friend and partner. So lots of content coming this week. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and be sure to, again, check out those few events coming up later this week. And for all things DKI, uh, you can check out our website at deepknowledgeinvesting.com. Gary, thanks so much, as always. Thanks, Rob. Great doing this with you. Everyone, have a terrific week, and we will see you next Monday. Thanks.